Okay, here you can see the wispy patterns at the bottom. This is exactly how it froze. And the reason the dielectric inertial plane is not down here is exactly like it is in two real magnets coming together where they come into voidance. The dielectric oh, wispy ethereal looking inertial plane is at the bottom because this bottom of the magnet is the south pole directed at the north pole, the magnetic north pole of the earth which is in Antarctica. It is coming and freezing into voidance here at the bottom just as two magnets, the dielectric inertial plane come into voidance and they immediately shift. So the inertial plane of this magnet is trying to slip towards the uh, north pole of the uh, the uh, magnetic north pole of the Earth which is located in the south pole and in, in Antarctica. So this is hyperlogical on so many levels and an amazing discovery. No one has ever seen this before. Like I said, the water up here freezes at the north pole much much it freezes like a rock and it takes forever to melt which is fascinating in itself but that is also a logical explanation for that what should have been expected by me really really should have been expected but was not predicted was the inertial plane at the bottom of the jar why that happened is hyperlogical you can even see it coming down here at the very last, trying to, to come into avoidance right here at this edge that's being illuminated. This is amazing. This explains a lot of anomalies in plant growth and all sorts of biological uh, phenomena that are until now unexplained. Thanks for watching.